In this video, I'll help you decide which aspect ratio is best for your videos. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unit Converter. The aspect ratio of a video is the width to the height of a video. The most common ones are 1 to 1, 4 to 3, 16 to 9, 9 to 16, and 235 to 1. So which one should you choose? Well, it very much depends on the kind of content that you create or if you work for clients, what they require. If you have the freedom of choice, I'd say that you go with 235 one if you create cinematic stuff or your client wishes to have that look. The 235 one aspect ratio organically comes from filmmaking. A video or film with a true 235 one aspect ratio has to be shot using an anamorphic lens. I will not go into much detail about anamorphic lenses since it's a more complicated topic, but in a nutshell, this lens squeezes the image it captures, which then has to be stretched out resulting in the well-known and cinematic widescreen look. It's because these lenses have two focal lengths, one vertical and one horizontal. The horizontal one is a wider focal length, so on a regular 35mm look, you'll get more information on the sides. Now, the 235 one aspect ratio can obviously be replicated via choosing it manually for your timeline, but in reality, the image itself will not look the same. As a side note, I'll add that the 235 1 isn't the only aspect ratio you can choose for cinematic purposes. The cinematic look has many other aspects as well, but the 235 1 does evoke an instant cinematic feeling nonetheless. 16 to 9 is a very universal aspect ratio. It's good for YouTube videos, movies, ads, really anything, and you can also turn it into other aspect ratios if needed. Since most cameras record in this aspect ratio, your base footage will have 16 to 9 anyway. Unless you shoot vertically because then it's 9 to 16, which is ultimately only good for content watched on phones, such as shorts, TikToks, reels, or ads made for social media. 4 to 3 and 1 to 1, even 4 to 5, are also mostly used rather on social media platforms, but 4 to 3 and 1 to 1 is also used in filmmaking uh, for storytelling purposes and artistic purposes. Using these aspect ratios on social media can help you avoid wider ones for better visibility. A 16 to 9 or 235 one aspect ratio on a phone vertically results in a thin line unless you rotate your phone but that is not possible on popular social media platforms. Okay so I hope that explains aspect ratios a little bit. Now I'll show you a tool that you can use to automatically reframe your videos to any aspect ratios while keeping the subjects of your video in the center. The tool is called the Auto Crop tool in the Uniconverter. You can get the Uniconverter from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Once you have the software installed, open it up and from the tools menu on the left side, click on the Auto Crop tool. It will be down here within the AI lab. Next, import the video you'd like to reframe. Up here, leave the Adjust Frame option turned on for automatic reframing. Below that, either select a platform or set up a custom aspect ratio. Now you need to set the custom aspect ratio based on the resolution. So if you want to choose the 235 one, for instance, you'll have to search for the correct dimensions. Otherwise, you'll find basically all of the aspect ratios based on a platform. And then below that, you can choose from multiple options as well. On the left side here, you'll see the new framing within this orange bracket. One last setting you can choose is motion speed, which basically helps the tool determine if the movements in the video are slow, fast or normal. It's also possible to manually fix the framing using keyframes. Just click on this button here and then move the bracket manually. You can repeat this process throughout the entire video. Finally, click on export. Your new video will be exported in your new aspect ratio. This tool is best used for cases where you want to convert a 16 to 9 video to 9 to 16 or 1 to 1, where most likely the subject of the video would end up out of frame if just simply cropped into the video. As a final note, I'd like to mention that when in a video editing program you're turning a 16 to 9 video into 235 1 or 4 to 3 or to any other aspect ratios, and you use black bars or those cinema scope layers, the true aspect ratio of your video will not be it. The content will, but if you turn a 16 to 9 video into a 235 one aspect ratio using this method, 
your video file will still have a 16 to 9 aspect ratio which will determine how your video is displayed on certain platforms. For instance, on a widescreen monitor like that one in the back, a 235-1 video would be nicely shown filling up the entire screen, but one with the black bar method would just be in the middle defecting the viewing experience. Same way on YouTube. YouTube can handle files with different aspect ratios and it will show them that way. So if that's how you want your videos, choose the correct settings for your timeline first or use the Uniconverter after to automatically crop them. But that is all for today. I hope this video was helpful and for one last time, when it comes to choosing an aspect ratio, decide based on the purpose of the video or the client's requirements. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.